was with my son in the hospital dealing with his pneumonia. And then I also at the same time had received an email being notified that I was being laid off. That combined with all the stress of the, of the divorce kind of sent me into this downward spiral to where I was pretty much dealing with depression and I was kind of getting a little bit better, but then the next thing happened. What's going on everybody. It's your boy Kilo Loco. A little bit more of a serious video today. I had to do um, one too many of these, but I felt like it was important that I gave an update on what's been going on and kind of explain my absence. On top of that, I'm thinking about taking the channel in a different direction moving forward, and I just wanted to give everybody a heads up on what's going on and why things are the way that they are. So for like the last year and a half, uh, things have been really hectic for me. I've been dealing with quite a bit and uh, most of that is revolving around the divorce. And uh, if you haven't seen me talk about the divorce, um, all you really know need to know is that it's a divorce. It's your typical divorce. Things get nasty, things get ugly, and it makes um, your life completely different than what it was. Now, this had a major impact on my mental health and I was not feeling motivated. It was very hard to get as much content as I wanted out. And, you know, essentially I've been kind of missing the amount of content that I used to put out uh, before all of this had happened. Now, once that divorce hit, um, I kind of started focusing more on my kids. I became uh, more involved around their lives and my son had started school. I would take my son to school every day. I'd pick him up for school. We would do homework. I had to feed both of the kids, take care of my daughter during the morning, all kinds of stuff. It was just, it was a very busy thing. And then, and the way that things worked out with uh, their mom was that, you know, I had them, you know, majority of the day and then she had them at the night and it's still similar to that right now. And that plus the fact that I was working a full-time job, it was just, it was a lot. So all of that started at the beginning of 2022. And like I said, it's been about a year and a half since I've been dealing with all of that. And it's been, you know, it's been hard to kind of focus on work and do all these other things, you know, when you're, you know, focused on being a good parent for your child or for both of your children and, uh, you know, just trying to be there as much as you can and dealing with all the mental stress of a divorce. Now, recently things had gotten quite a bit worse. Uh, there had been a lot of personal events that had happened and they all kind of happened all at once. So to kind of kick it off, my son has been sick throughout the entire first year of kindergarten. It, he was finally being around other kids. He was getting sick a lot. That's super common. The problem was, is that he was getting pneumonia. And just about two months ago, he was, he had pneumonia and he was in the hospital and he was, you know, screaming out in pain. Uh, talking about his stomach hurts. They ended up saying that it was his lungs, whatever. We were in the hospital. He was in a lot of pain and it was very tough on him. It was very tough on me. It was, um, it's hard to see your kid in that much pain and not really be able to do anything and hear them screaming out for the doctor. So on that day, April 26th, I was with my son in the hospital dealing with his pneumonia. And then I also at the same time had received an email being notified that I was being laid off. So for those of you that didn't know, I was a senior developer advocate at AWS. I primarily focus on mobile development, things of that nature. And I got that email while I was in the hospital with my son for having pneumonia. That combined with all the stress of the, of the divorce kind of sent me into this downward spiral to where I was pretty much dealing with depression. I was wandering around the house aimlessly. I didn't have energy to do anything that I wanted to do. It was just bad. I'm self-diagnosing here. Maybe it wasn't a dep depression, but it seemed like based off of all the symptoms that I was feeling, it felt like depression to me. Now I went through like a little spat of depression when the divorce kind of kicked off and I knew that I had to kind of go straight through and feel all those emotions and deal with it that way. Um, I did a couple of like irresponsible things. I bought, I bought like a couple of little toys for myself and just like allowed me to, um, you know, try to feel better by having some type of control over my life. And that kind of seemed to help. And I was kind of getting a little bit better, but then the next thing happened. So my girlfriend, she was pregnant and she was about uh, 24 weeks along and her water broke. So nine days after I get this notification that my job has been terminated, uh, that my son was in the hospital for pneumonia, 
now my girlfriend is um, in essentially labor or has had her water broken and I am about to have a premature son born. So I didn't really get the chance to actually fully process all the depression. I just kind of was thrown into this next situation, which allowed me to kind of focus all my energy on that. You know, I, uh, the good thing about it was that um, I was so distracted with uh, dealing with that, that it kind of allowed me to stay distracted long enough for like whatever depression symptoms that I was feeling to pass. So here I am staying the night, like every night with her in the hospital while she is essentially trying to keep the baby inside for as long as possible. It only lasted a week. My son was born at 25 weeks. He was premature and he had to stay in the NICU, the uh, neonatal intensive care unit. And he's actually still there. Now, unfortunately, it's not just that I get to only deal with this situation. It's I'm still going through a divorce. So I'm dealing with this new baby and the divorce and everything that comes with that. Um, all at the same time, along with the stress of now I am also laid off and I don't know where money's going to be coming from. And I don't know where my, uh, my healthcare is going to be at. And it's just all these things. So I could definitely say like, this was definitely the hardest time of my life. And luckily things are kind of resolving in the divorce. Things are getting better. That's, um, a huge plus that's making things a lot better for me. Um, my son is out of school now, so that kind of uh, makes it a little bit easier for me in terms of how much uh, how much time I have to spend going back and forth and things like that. So um, things are getting slightly better. Um, you know, my girlfriend is home now. She's no longer in the hospital. My son is still in the hospital. Unfortunately, you know, he's only um, he's only a couple of weeks old and he still has a long way to go in terms of development. So he's going to be in there for a while, but it does seem like things are kind of trending in the right direction and that's overall good that's all i could really say now during this entire time i'm just kind of feeling lost i don't have any control over my life i don't know where my next paycheck is coming from i just don't know and i'm really thinking about like everything that i uh had to deal with and then all at the same time you know i am hearing about uh ai and i've been hearing about ai and chat gbt for the last like six months or so ever since it came out and just before i got laid off like in early um in early march i actually started looking into large language models chat gpt ai all of these things because i've touched it before in the past with my ios development but i never really dived deep into it and it was something that was really piquing my curiosity now even before i lost my job I had a feeling that AI was going to make a huge impact on my industry, which was uh, development, mobile development specifically. And I am starting to feel like, you know, mobile development jobs are going to become more and more scarce in the future. I still think that there's, there's about like two years before the, the junior developer, um, is no longer going to be, um, a popular job title that you're going to see. Uh, list it for hire. I think that, you know, junior developers are going to kind of start to fade away. There aren't going to be so many job to, um, jobs for junior developers moving into the future because you're most likely going to have senior developers and they're going to need to know AI and they're going to be able to reproduce the output of, you know, one to you know, possibly several junior developers with a couple of keystrokes and a couple of prompts that will essentially spin up entire new features for these really large apps. And we're seeing that the ability to code is continuing continuing to get better for these different AI models. Um, you're seeing different things that are coming out, the different plugins that are coming out for chat GPT and all this interest in large language models and things like that. So I only see everything with AI getting better. So with that thought in the back of my head, I mean, obviously I don't know what the future holds, but that's the thought in mind. And I'm thinking that, you know, I already am interested in AI and all of its capabilities. I even like the sci-fi movies. And I'm just like thinking like, you know, this is a really interesting path. I would love to go down this path, learn more, build more, and actually focus on this and, you know, use this as a way to learn more about the different areas in my life, um, you know, apply AI to, you know, my family situations, apply, apply AI to my like business situations, to relationship situation, 
all of the things. And that's kind of the direction that I want to take AI. I don't really know what exactly I want to do, but what I'm thinking is that if I continue down this path of learning AI, building tools, I've already built a several small uh, chat bots. I've used things like um, Langchain, like um, vector databases such as uh, Vice and Pinecone. Um, I've been writing little Python scripts. I'm learning Docker, Azure, um, even learning web development and things like that. So I'm kind of shifting my focus and going all in on this AI thing and I'm building stuff. And I actually have a couple of people that I'm uh, talking to about building them some products so that they can test them out. And that's the direction that I think that I'm generally headed in is everything AI, whether it be AI for business or AI for your average person. And that's kind of the direction that I want to go. Now, AI can be applied to all kinds of different situations. And that also includes coding and mobile development, which is what I was already doing and what this channel is already about. Um, and I think that I may still do some of that mobile development, but for the vast majority of the content that's going to be coming out on this channel, it will be AI related in some way, shape or form. So if it's, if it doesn't have anything to do with AI, I may not be covering it. And that's where I have to pose the question to you because the last time that this had happened to me, the last time that I got laid off, you know, I posed the question to you and you, the community, you really had my back. You had so many suggestions, so many offers, so many people reached out to me. And that's where I'm kind of looking to you again, asking, what do you want to see with AI? Like, do you think that there is a path that you're interested in following along with AI? Um, I want you to hit me up in the comments, join my discord so that we can talk about it. Cause this is a new path that I really am excited to go down. And I even used AI to name my son. That's the extent of how often I'm using AI. It's like, it's in every part of my life. Now I'm asking chat GPT for things more often than I'm asking Google. So let me know what your ideas are about AI and what path you think that I should go on because I'm really interested. It's something that I'm extremely excited about. I think it's the future of everything that we're going to be experiencing throughout society, it's going to have major impacts on business, major impacts on jobs, on everything. So that's going to do it for today's video. Um, I really appreciate you hanging out and listening to me all the way to the end. Uh, thank you for that. And I really look forward to reading your comments. I really look forward to catching back up with you, everybody in the community that I used to talk to. Sorry that I've gone dark and I haven't responded. I, I really apologize. It, there was just so much going on. I couldn't even deal with social media, but I really appreciate your time. Really appreciate your feedback. And, um, you know, I hope you enjoy the journey that we're about to go on together, uh, learning about AI. So go out there and I guess build passionately.